It's in the game. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Well, this is truly an eight-point striker, DC. A Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always close. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick, and the moment you start to switch your stance, he will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. Nothing so to protect you. Caution, flammable. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rafael Alamed And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Just over three minutes to go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Great play. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. 
Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Not a good one. in and secures the takedown. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's to the finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big elbow. Take down the defense holds up. up next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice punch land over the top. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. You are definitely pressing that but You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast, so crisp. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Shows him the left and then over the top. This fight's gonna be over. Here. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Slow. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Punch over the top. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Straight right hand, no good. All collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is... Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. 
and they separate. Nice body kick. Campbell. Oh! Nice strike to the midsection glances. How about those five minutes? So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third and final round. Oh, big punch land. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, now going to the judo flow. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pop, or he can chase the mission. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. Submission defense there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, just as he did in the previous round, fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Lee's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. So as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort.